We all know that fisheries plays a very significant role in the social, economic and cultural growth of Kerala. The total coastline length of Kerala is 600 kilometers. Kerala has the highest ratio of coastline to its landmass when you compare it with all the other states of India. Even though Kerala shares only 7% of India's coastline, 30% of the seafood export goes from Kerala. The prime mover for the developments in Kerala's fisheries is the export processing sector. The fishing sector that brings in the seafood consists mainly of non-motorized country crafts around 1,000 employing about 6,000 active fishermen. Country crafts with outboard motors, numbering about 29,000, employing about 1,50,000 active fishermen and about 8,50,000 dependents. Mechanized fishing boats, around 5,000 employing about 40,000 active fishermen and about 2 lakhs dependents. The fishermen depend on the high price supported by the export market to meet the greatly increased operating cost of the motorized and mechanical vessels. The processing sector consists of the pre-processing or the peeling sheds and the export processing units. There are over 743 registered and about 500 unregistered peeling sheds in Kerala employing about 50 to 250 people operating per shed depending on the availability of raw material and the type of process employing about 1,20,000 people. It is found that today hardly 50% of these sheds operate regularly around the year due to the various problems in the industry. There are 176 registered seafood exporters in Kerala. The entire processing of their exports is done in 98 processing factories in Kerala. These factories employ around 100 to 300 people directly, totaling around 18,000. And they also provide indirect employment to 50,000 people. This traditional industry, which has about 1.5 million people dependent on it, is going through a very difficult phase.
the comparatively long coastline and several water bodies of Kerala had made the exploitation of the fishery resources a major employment potential in the state over the ages. It has been supporting over a million lives in the state directly during the last few decades. Kerala's seafood processing industry, which supports the fisheries sector, had been a sunrise sector over the past until the last two decades. The stability of this sector demands special attention as the lakhs of people dependent on fisheries are mostly below the poverty line with no other means of livelihood. The fragile economy all along the coastline had prospered and developed when the marine export industry brought in huge surpluses over the last few decades. The monthly earning of the average fisherman had grown dramatically over the past many years. At the same time, his expenses for maintaining and developing his profession and his lifestyle have also grown equally fast. There are some types of fish which are found both in the sea and in the backwaters like shrimps and crabs. There are over 20,000 species of fish which is divided into three major categories. One is the bony fish, the cartilaginous fish and the jawless fish. Bony fish which are the most numerous have skeletons of bone and swim bladders or gas filled organs to keep them afloat. Cartilaginous fish such as sharks, rays and ratfish are mostly marine hunters. They have skeletons made of cartilage and sandpaper like skin. The primitive jawless fish have suckers like mouths and include lampreys and hagfish. These are the main fishes of India and they are of a lot of commercial value. Now again these three categories are divided into 11 different categories. They are mollusks, crustaceans, elasmobranchs, scombroid, perches, caringid, sardines, shad and anchovies, flatfishes, bony fishes, cyanid and others.